Welcome to Story Hour, a virtual meetup hosted by Wolf and Heron. How many people here have been through a catastrophic breakup at least 400 times in their life? Uh, there was this one time after college that, or, uh, that, I, that I was broken up with a girl that I, I deeply loved. And this was not the first time we broke up, so you're probably getting an idea of how catastrophic this relationship was. Uh, sort of a train wreck, train wreck in, in slow motion, as they say. In order to soothe my aching heart, I made the impulsive decision to rally my friends, the worst of the bunch that you can imagine, and we recreated a sort of point break, if you've ever watched that movie, kind of uh, crazy time in California. We all flew over there. Unfortunately, something I didn't uh, predict was my personal emotional state during this entire trip. So my friends ended up wanting to show me a good time, uh, but more so participating in the good time themselves. And they dragged me around this kind of lump of sadness uh, from bar to bar in order to try to get me to meet new women or try to get Milo drunk enough so that he is just able to fall asleep. Unfortunately, uh, the only thing I could think of was the relationship that had fallen apart. And everything reminded me of her. In fact, it was so bad that at one point uh, in the morning, we had a very good surfing session. And um, the guys wanted me to come out because the waves were really good. I just didn't feel up for it. So these guys drove me out to the beach. And I literally stayed inside of this broken down 1982 car that my, my friend had in the back seat, sleeping as they went out and had one of the best days on our trip. This is kind of like what every day was like. Milo is this just kind of Eeyore character that's being dragged around on a short leash. And everybody else is having a blast because they're not going to let Milo ruin the fun that cost them an entire week of not working and their money. Um, Eventually, as you can imagine, this kind of culminated uh, because I was just falling apart, and we ended up going to a beach called Trestle. Now, if you kind of are picking anything up from the story so far, we are surfers. I am a surfer. I surf on the East Coast. The East Coast is terrible for surfing, just like skiing. If any of you guys ice skate, there's some really great mountains up in Vermont uh, that I can recommend for you with some black diamonds. But uh, in California, it's a completely different story, and surfing is something that does give me pleasure. Um, so one of the things that you kind of have to realize is uh, my heroes are surfers, because it is in my lifetime that we have really stepped out of our comfort zone and started to ride massive, giant waves, like the 100-meter wave that we started surfing two years ago in Nazare, Portugal. Uh, Sonia, you know about Portugal, for sure. And uh, as we went to the beach, um, my friends uh, and, and I were just kind of rallying right before we were ready to go out, or after we came back, actually. And uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this human being who, in my opinion, and generally a shared opinion among all surfers, uh, Kelly Slater, is the greatest surfer of all time. Just period. He's in his like late 40s, if not 50s, and he's still winning first place in surfing competitions around the world. Uh, so we were up at the beach and as we're walking out of the water, my friend looks at me and he goes, Hey man, I think that's Kelly Slater over there. And this is because Kelly Slater's home beach break is Trestle, which is in California. And so I thought to myself, this is not really possible. And you can imagine again, wet Eeyore being dragged out of the water, this lump of sadness, looking over and just something completely snapped and changed in me because there was this childish kind of awe that would just could not be destroyed by the sadness of being broken up with because it had taken root so many years ago. And yeah, I thought that kind of looks like, I mean, he's bald, he's surfing, he's got a wetsuit, right? So those are the qualifications that could possibly make you Kelly Slater. Um, anyway, uh, my friends were all very much polite. They were like, which is a very strange thing to do for them, but they were very polite. They were like, oh, let's not bother him and everything. And I was just like, no, I, I need to kind of know if this is him. So. In to, much to my friend's shock and awe, I walk up to this complete stranger and I say, excuse me. And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, are you Kelly Slater? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, can I have a photo? <laughs> and, and you can see the complete, the complete mountain of sadness that was above me, pressing me down, 
completely evaporate as if it, it is completely made of smoke. And this child that is currently at the moment being laughed at by his friends for asking Kelly Slater if that's in fact him. Uh, and I stand there and there was this moment of just incredible happiness and nirvana that I experienced. And it was in that moment that I was, I got to meet one of my heroes, Kelly Slater. He agreed to the photo. And, uh, uh, with your permission, Stephanie, I can share my screen and actually show you the goofy Milo who was dragged out of his personal emotional hell, uh, for the moment of bliss. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen if there's no, uh, nothing to, wrong here. So here it is. There it is. And my friends took the photo. Don't mind the text on, on there. This is something completely irrelevant, but this is the only photo I could pull up. But this is me with Kelly Slater at Trestle, uh, circa 2012, I think. And uh, so, yeah, you guys are getting the payoff here, unlike some other stories. Sorry, don't need to be uh, mean here, but that's, that's the story. And so uh, I'm not really sure what this story is, but I got to show you a photo of me with Kelly Slater. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at 158. So I'm going to speak quickly and then we'll just do maybe one comment from everyone who wants to share. I think that was my favorite story that you've shared yet. I'm just going to say. Okay. Yeah. And, and um, I don't know if it was because it was a specific moment or, you know, it reminds me that sometimes there are stories that we've probably told anecdotally before that we rely on because they're like cool moments. You should think about what other moments like that for you, Milo, because that was that was just like a nice, good story, very containable. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's very conversational because I literally, this was completely ad lib or, you know, ad hoc. Yeah. I just, when she said, I got this picture of this person, I was like, ooh, I can pull this up. And like, and just, I had no idea going into the story what I was going to say. What feedback do we have? Bart? Milo, typically you have something much more prepared and written down and you'll read it. And I have told you before that I'd rather have you just tell a story than read a story. But so this is my favorite story as well. Good on you. Good story. Thank you. I really liked the visual of Eeyore and like this, <laughs> I, that was so good. This Eeyore like character on a short leash and then a wet Eeyore. And then like the Eeyore just kind of showing up over and over again, I thought was hilarious. And, um, and a very good, very vivid image for me. Yeah. By the way, one of the best characters ever, ever. Like, yeah. Ever. <laughs> Before depression was cool, guys. Yep. When I liked when you put yourself in the third person, like your your friends weren't your friends weren't gonna let their trip get ruined by sad Milo or whatever. However you said it, <laughs> yeah. it was like not funny. these guys. I think we've all have experienced heartaches, so it's easy to remember that like sad, sad sack of feelings you have. Little did they know, all they had to do was call Kelly Slater. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's all right. they had to do. <laughs> Very easy. Any last feedback from Milo? I know we're running a little late. I think it was like Lynn's story, like had this arch, had this line, and like the suspension, and I loved it from the beginning to the end. And it's funny that you both had like these pictures and the visuals, um, and yeah, really amazing. I'm glad that happened, Milo. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for your stories. Visit wolfandheron.com to find out more about our story hours. <laughs>